Hey everybody, this is Dimitri Pergamonic with MarketChameleon.com. With earnings season kicking off, I thought we'd get a head start and take a look if we could find some juicy option plays uh, with historically high win rates. So over here, right now I'm on the earnings calendar, and I'm going to go on today's hot sheets, which are just uh, option setups that are actionable today that had historically high win rates. And over here, we take a look at um, all of them, and where this is coming from is um, we ran, you see here, about 1.8 million, a little bit more of uh, back test of option strategies around earnings. And this is just filtering out which are potentially actionable today. All these different types of strategies, as you can see, with different time frames. And a lot of these, not surprisingly, are strategies that had high win rates and are approaching from the sell side. So short 25 delta put. You can see short 75 delta put, short strangle, um, and that's not surprising around earnings because we see that options tend to be um, very highly priced. The premiums are very high, and then they tend to come in after the earnings announcements. So if that's not your cup of tea, let's just take a look at option strategies with more defined risks, which are you know long, long at the money call, long put, um, long, long credit, long spreads. Uh, you have iron butterflies here, condors, and these are where the risk is more defined. Um, so let's just take one that's an easy one to analyze over here. You know, we have like a call spread here, butterfly with Goldman Sachs. Uh, let's take a look at this Netflix at the money call. And oops. So over over here, what we have is this is our strategy. This is the entry and exit time frame around earnings. This one's one week before, one day after. Here we have historical back tests as our reference. So this is the historical win rate, average return and the sharp ratio for this particular strategy. And then over here to the right, we have how this strategy lines up today with a theoretical value next to it to see if the strategy that historically performed well, how, how well is it priced right now? Is it still um, a good opportunity or maybe it's already priced too high and it's uh, not worth uh, doing it and skipping this one um, let's take a look at this netflix one long at the money call buying it one week before selling it one day before historically it had an 83 percent win rate with a 23 percent average return and a 0.84 rate sharp ratio here i'm seeing that this call right now it's priced around 14 dollars 80 cents the theoretical long-term price we have is $35, so there's a lot of uh, theoretical edge here. And as you could see, the open rate would be today, April 10th, close rate, close April 16th, because April 16th is after the market closed. That's when the earnings are going to be announced, so you want to close it before the earnings are announced uh, the one day before. So let's click on that and just take a look at the options chain and see how this sets up. And over here, it automatically pops up the at the money call for us. You see April uh, 18th, the 365 call. And let's just take a look at how this chart looks at expiration. So here you go. That's how uh, long a call looks at, at expiration. And one thing to keep in mind is taking a look at the bid ask spread in here. It's actually not too bad. It's 15 cents. Uh, the midpoint is $14.68. But let's just take a look at that theoretical value and what I'm going to do over here is look at in the last 10 years on only earnings period so this is going to set it set it up for me so it matches the uh, days to expiration similar to this that cover the earnings period and we're going to take a look at how this performs so to see in 10 years the average for that option was $35.67 at expiration I'm going to just open open this up and you could see the dates historically around earnings. So it had some very big moves. Let's see from the highs to lows. So you could see here it had some really big moves over here. So let's just do this and see how, as I see this has been in 2013, 2015. Let's see how this did in the last five years. So this is looking at five years of data and still pretty much, you know, it has seen some pretty big moves here. Let's even lower that a little bit more. Let's see in the last three years. So even with three years, theoretically, this is pretty 
pretty good price. Um, take a look. So you see, it does it does have some big moves. Obviously, this is no guarantee. There's losses here. It's, it's expired worthless many times, but when it moved, it really moved. So even here, uh, 1475 might not be such a bad do because what is our play? Our play is that uh, this option right now might be a little bit underpriced and it, it might run up right into the earnings, right, right up into the days before earnings. So if we see a little bit of uptick in implied volatility and we see the stock rallying a little bit, then potentially that's a good uh, trade setup. Remember this exit is the day before earnings. So, so it's not gonna take in, so the play is not around earnings, but uh, one week before exiting the one day um, before earnings. And as you can see, there's a lot of other strategies here, such as call spreads, um, uh, iron, put, put condor spreads, iron butterflies. And one way I like to compare them is just like by sharp ratio. So the sharp ratio kind of gives you the idea of uh, the average return historically and the, and the standard deviation around the average return. So you could get that ratio and see how much variability of returns um, there are around the average. So thanks for watching guys and we'll do a couple more as as we get deeper into the earnings.